Mission and Survival. I just found some Staghorn Sumac for the Apothecary. Stay tuned. Good patch of Staghorn Sumac. Back there as well. Loaded. Man, oh man, loaded. A lot of uses in these. Take a few watch, a, a few leaves off of each, so I'm not denuding all the leaves off of one stem. You know what? Nope, taking a little out of time. Throw my bundle hey. into a pocket. Those are mine right there. Alright, so I have a paper bag I've cut out. I'm gonna take all of my stack on Sumax leaves and transfer them over from the box that I just put them on temporarily. Start dispersing them. I keep an eye out, and make sure there's no other leaf types in here. Okay, I'll add the seed heads. Okay, so now I just have to dry them up. All right, let's check these out. Oh yeah, nice and crispy. Seed heads aren't quite dry yet. I'm let them go a little longer. All right, so a newbie to the apothecary. Staghorn sumac. So I grabbed the leaves, this time green. I plan on going back and gathering them when they're turning color and they're turning red. <clears throat> so, let's get started. It's a good first harvest for a plant. I've read a lot about this plant, so I knew it was valuable to begin with. In fact, I wasn't even planning on harvesting it. So I wasn't sure where any was growing, you know? I wasn't going to a, a specific patch that I had in mind. I actually found the patch right next to some goldenrod that I did know about. So it always pays to remember where certain plants are. Because I went to a patch of goldenrod I knew about, and right next to it I found a big patch of sumac as well. So that worked out really well. Okay, how about that for harvest, huh? Nice, <laughs> full, full, excellent. Yes, so I also have the seed heads back here. But I was feeling inside, and the inside feels slightly colder than the rest. You know, it's like my finger kind of comes back, like, like almost like it has a, like it has a little bit of moisture on it. You know, right in the thickest part. It's a little cold in there, so that tells me that, that there's moisture in there that's slowly being released and it's being cooled down. So, I don't want to put this in my jar yet because it'll probably end up going moldy on me. That's why you want to make sure everything's really dry. Now, if I had to, if it doesn't really dry fast enough for my taste, I have 
five of them, so maybe I'll just even do one now. You can pull off the twigs from the stem and dry them that way, which is what I think I'm going to do, actually. Because if it dries too slow, you could end up with a problem. Get some mold and stuff on the inside. This is what it's all about, you know? It's a process. So this is what I have. What I have left. And all down here is all the little pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for the rest of them. And this will probably be dry by tomorrow. Okay, so I've let these dry out completely. Nice and crispy. So I'm going to grab a jar for my apothecary. And see if I can dump all these in there. So now I have some staghorn sumac berries added to my apothecary. Staghorn sumac berries. Right next to my sinew, turkey feathers. It has a staghorn sumac leaves down here. Well, it's always a great thing to add to your apothecary. So I've added staggeron sumac leaves and staggeron sumac berries now. That's for Mission Survival. Appreciate your views, comments, your support. See you guys in the next one. Take care.